being an egg or sperm donor. Talking to your children about being a donor. This video is based on our research with egg and sperm donors. Most donors who were also parents themselves found it straightforward to tell their children they were a donor. They found it harder to explain the relationships created by donation and what these might mean for their children. Like lots of relationships created by donor conception, there are no ready-made labels to describe the relationship between your own children and any children born from your egg or sperm. Families had to decide for themselves how to describe these connections. Sarah had donated eggs to her friend Kate. All the children knew about the donation and they saw each other every month or so. Sarah described Kate's daughter as her children's special friend. Zeynep had donated her eggs through a clinic and didn't know the recipients. She said, I'm going to tell my kids that mummy gave some of her eggs to another lady to have a baby. That's it. For her, the donation did not create any new relationships especially because the children were unlikely to meet for a long time, if at all. Most children had a positive or neutral reaction to the idea of having donor siblings, but this didn't mean that talking about it was always straightforward. One donor told us that his daughter was really interested in her donor siblings and liked talking about what they might be like. His son, on the other hand, was happier with the donation but had no interest whatsoever in his donor siblings and definitely did not want to meet. The dad wondered what he would do about this if the donor-conceived child got in touch. Children's feelings about donation could often change over time. Sometimes they didn't bring it up for ages and sometimes they surprised their parents with lots of questions about it. Telling your children you've donated your eggs or sperm is the start of a conversation which may last on and off for many years.